Okay guys, so I just cleaned out the, the ink heads. I you know shook them up a little bit, wiped them down. Like I said, I, have, I haven't used this in a couple weeks, so I'm going to do, do another plot test and you can see how, um, how good it is as far as plots go. So I just loaded the plot file. As you can see, fixed it right up. No problem whatsoever. This is their sample plot file, which is uh, accessible in the menu on the plotting software. Nice clean lines. Everything's super accurate. They have really good utility inside their software. Um, really no complaints whatsoever. I think the only thing that I uh, hope they implement a little bit later in a software update is change their millimeters to inches, but that's just because I we deal with the imperial system here in the United States. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, plotted very nice. I'm gonna just go to the menu here. I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit. As you can see, have it here. I'm gonna take my knife out. I'm just gonna slide it right along. It's a little harder to do with one hand. Yeah, so, um, I'm gonna talk a little bit more actually about how to plot to the take-up bar because you guys probably have some questions about that too. What you need to do is you need to feed out just a little bit of paper. And what you're gonna do, now that you've fed out your paper, I'm gonna move this, um, you're gonna take something like a masking tape, like so, and what you're gonna do is I suggest taping here in the corner, one in the middle, and then one here at the end. And then you're gonna give it a little bit more slack. And what up you have up here is these little holders for these little um, slack bars, I like to call them. And what they do is they help keep the tension on the paper to keep it nice and even. Um, you can see right here in the back, there's a little, slack bar and this goes up and down uh, as paper's kind of feeding through it and it tells the computer, believe it or not, so you're gonna see right here, there's sensors right here that tell the bar uh, when to start rolling up here. I'm not gonna run it right now just because um, I don't wanna waste any paper, but uh, take my word for it, it's super easy to do. You just kind of slide in I'll show you right now, actually, how to slide that in. So you can just come in right here, all the way in the back. Oh, sorry. It's hard to do with one hand, apologize. Let me see if I can. So yeah, you're gonna just put your bar in and then you're gonna feed. You're gonna have this obviously with your paper here. So you're gonna put your paper on top and you're gonna let it, um, let me zoom out here. So this should uh, come all the way down. Look really nice. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it as far as the take up bar. You have, like I said, you have these nice little guides up top that make it really easy. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions, obviously they have technical support. They've been really great. I, I deal with them over WhatsApp. They answer all my questions. Um, when you're when you're ready to uh, take out your roll, one thing to make sure is that you actually unload from the left to the right. So you're gonna pop this bar out. There's a little slot here. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys. There's a little slot here. When you take this out, you take this out and you you slide out the paper that way. And the reason why is because over here they have these little hooks for the motor and that will actually catch your paper. So you can't unload that way. That's why I have a little reminder for myself. Hey, make sure you unload that way. Um, that way you don't get your paper stuck on it. Um, and yeah, it comes out really nice, really tight. It's really great. I mean, you could do, I've done, you know, 20, 50, even 60 yard markers on this. No issues. Um, works really great. You know, Hydraulics are nice. So like I said, it's really nice metal. Um, they got really nice feeders here. And I opted to actually bring in some spare parts, which they have right here. 
Um, you know, they sent me a bunch of di different spare parts, spare motors, spare trays for, and it, just in case anything kind of gets worn out or everything, I'm not having too much downtime or waiting for them to send me parts or anything like that. Um, just a quick chat about the loading of the paper too, actually, is it's pretty simple. It's like the same setup as this upper take up bar, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna load these on and you're gonna hammer these in with a mallet and you're gonna screw them in with an Allen wrench to get it nice and tight for your paper. Um, one thing that I recommend is that when you align your paper, just make sure that uh, this first print head um, is over the paper here. That's generally where the paper starts or when the plotting starts. And so you wanna start there with that. And yeah, it's, it's pretty simple overall, super impressed with it, really good value. Um, you know, it's probably more cost competitive than any of the other plotters that I've seen in the marketplace to save a lot of money. And I'm really happy with it. And so a big shout out to Rich Peace for, you know, hooking me up with this and making it affordable and also providing really good quality and service.